<sighs> this one's gonna be a tough episode for me to get through. Uh, but yeah, we did break the car again. <laughs> So let's kind of rewind back and give you a little bit of a, the story of, of this car. I mean, for those of you who know, I've been working on this car for like a year now. We finally get it up and running. It's beautiful. Um, and uh, we actually looked at the front a little bit and the guys at PMB did a fantastic job. So I don't know what's wrong with the car, but let me give you kind of the backstory. Maybe you guys can figure it out and comment below what your thoughts are. Um, but. Me and my wife just celebrated our anniversary this weekend, and we went out to Park City, uh, you know, dressed each other in cowboy hats and stuff, had fun. Um, and then after that, we came home, and this was on, uh, what, Sunday, I think? And I really wanted to drive the car out. Beautiful skies, I mean, Utah is just gorgeous. I wanted to drive it out to one of my favorite spots. The objective of this drive was to be a little rough, be a little fun, adventurous. And, uh, and so we go out to one of my favorite locations and we actually take on one of these dirt roads. It's not terribly, uh, it, it's not a terrible road. I, I, I stretch when I say it's off-road, but it, it, it is technically off-road and, you know, kicking up dirt. So um, we end up, you know, going to this spot and spending a lot of time there. There's nobody in sight. Um, I've got a few clients in which I got to get some shots done for. So I figure, hey, let's just uh, bust out the night vision and, um, you know, get some shots done with the wife and uh, she's training for the tactical game, so of course she obliges. She's she's great. My wife's a badass like that. So fast forward a little bit, I start doing donuts, feeling a little bit more confident in the car, and we rip it around, man. Oh, let me tell you, the feel of a Air Cold 911 when pushed to its proper limits, in my opinion, maybe I broke it, I don't know, but uh, it feels incredible. Like. I, I kid you not guys, this is the best time I've had in a car and I've taken cars to the track. I've, you know, I've shot a lot of cool cars. I've been off road, but like this was just a new experience and it may not look that exciting. Well, actually it looks kind of fun in the, in the footage, but man, the feeling of like your first time ripping an air cooled 911. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm sold. I get it. I, I want, this makes me want a Safari even more than I wanted to previously. Um, you know, previously this was this build was about the experience, the destinations we can go to, the art. Like I view the 911 as an art piece, uh, and and it's just so beautiful. And that's kind of how I saw the car before. But after this this experience of driving it, driving it hard and ripping around, uh, it's it's a it's a character. It's alive. It's thrilling. Um, I, I really want to go take it out. It's my garage right now, and I really want to go take it out and just do that over and over again. I didn't even know that this was something I wanted in a car and how fun this was. And I don't see any other car replicating that feeling. Um, I, I really don't. Maybe maybe I'm ignorant. Maybe I get a you know, 992 GT3 RS and I rip that around Nuremberg, and I'm like, hey, that's the great experience. I don't, I don't know, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> but, um, but man, um, I immediately went and, you know, posting some photos, uh, you know, got some uh, friendly comments about taking a, you know, 930 out uh, on a dirt road. And, um, you know, let's just say that some purists aren't, aren't happy with it. But, uh, you know, I digress. We, uh, we started going back home and caught some traffic. And this is when the car started dying. Like, oh man, I, I, I was freaked out. So we ended up being able to you know, get it going enough to get to uh, uh, get to a um, what do you call them? The, the self-wash uh, car washes and and uh, give it a quick car wash. Um, called Eric to thank him because the car was doing so great, which which uh, kind of was foreshadowing. Um, but I did mention to him, I was like, it dies every now and again. Little did I know that getting the car started after this car wash was going to be a uh, feat on its own. Um, so we washed the car, I gave Eric my thanks and told him sorry for calling on, on a Sunday. Uh, and uh, the car immediately gives me a little bit of problems. And cars like this, it's not uncommon for starting issues. So I kind of think nothing of it. I just, you know, let's just let it sit, 
go again, let it sit, go again. <clears throat> and um, I've seen plenty of 911s. These, these older 911s have, you know, starting problems. So I'm thinking it's, it's common, okay? You know, let's just deal with it and get home. And uh, we, on, I, think, I think the fourth time we've got it up finally. And I was like, we're not turning this car off again. We're going home. And uh, got my wife in the car and we just book it home. Unfortunately, we still have some traffic, so it's a little bit slower. But now, instead of just dying on the on stopping, it's dying on like downshifting. This is in between like first and second gear, right? So again, I'm not a mechanic. I'm not a great driver. I'm gonna admit that I may have killed this car. I don't know. I don't think that's the case. It, it'll it'll start, but it's very finicky right now, and it's been sitting in the garage for for I want to say day now or something. So we we've been. We've been talking about what it might be, but um, but anyway, when getting home, this was the this was the tragic part. We are just trying to get to the freeway because the car's okay when it's running, but but it is not. So I ended up actually making like a right and a right to avoid red lights, to avoid stopping and, and downshifting, and uh, and we finally ended up on the freeway, and uh, we're going going, and we start getting off the freeway, and uh, it dies. Nice. So we're on the off ramp with a dead car and I, I, it's not a hill. So we're not on the hill portion. We're on like the, the blind turn, right? Where cars could really rear end you. Luckily we had some car enthusiasts actually stop. Thank you to good Samaritans. Seriously, I, we would have been in a worse situation for sure had we not fallen into some lucky hands. So we, we ended up getting some help from, from some generous car enthusiast guys. We're, they're like stopping because they saw the car drive by and they, they loved it and whatnot, and um, and luckily came back around when they saw me die and and helped push us basically to a, to a shoulder. We ended up going off the off ramp, off the off ramp, and uh, into a, a shoulder, which was a little bit safer, um, a lot more safer than that blind turn on the off ramp. So um, we sat there for probably about 30 minutes. We called the tow truck; they would be a couple hours away. I got stopped by like three or more car enthusiasts. Again, this guy who had a cool like project car and wanted to get some photos because he had a maroon and mine was like kind of red purplish, you know the color. And so he stopped by, got some photos and we chit chatted. Um, at this point, I told my wife, hey, you get an Uber, have them pick you up. There's a gas station up the road. I'm gonna figure out, you know, wait for the tow truck or figure out how to jumpstart this car. Um, I waited for about 10, 15 minutes after my wife had left, uh, walked down the street to go get picked up by the Uber. She let me know that she was safe and okay. Um, and then I had luckily like started the car. I said a little quick prayer and she started. At this point, I've lost the RPM gauge. The gauge is just, it goes all the way to 7,000 and then back down. It's not revving up that high. It's just the gauge is all over the place. So I have no idea what I'm at with the RPMs. I have barely any idea if any of these gauges work. There's two red lights. Who knows if they work or not. It's an older car. It was sitting for a very long time before I bought it. Then it sat more when I bought it. So there's probably a lot of gremlins on it, but hey, I'm not concerned about it. I, I just, you know, we'll get it fixed. Anything can be fixed is my point. But uh, we, we ended up finally getting it going. Um, and my objective was to not stop. <laughs> like. The first time I saw a red light coming up ahead, I'm like in first gear and I'm trying to keep it, you know, I can try and hear it keeping it above 2000 RPM, just trying to make sure this car doesn't die um, or go below 2000 RPM because it seems like that's gonna be the drop off. Um, and uh, so so luckily the light turns when I was about to make it like a right turn. I was about to just go right and keep going and see what I can do. Um, but luckily it turned so I went straight and then I got in the far left lane to go make a Huey. Luckily that light had just turned when I went in the far left lane and so I was able to make a, a U-turn. Didn't have to stop the car and I'm like, good, home stretch, let's go. So I pass the first light, good. Next right, boom, we're there. And then I keep going, I go straight for a little bit. But then I ran into one last light and this was the light that killed me. Um, I ran into one last light and we were like a mile away from the house, less than a mile away. And uh, we're on this hill and I'm like, okay, well, I'm definitely gonna hit this red light. Can't run it, you know, and, and so I'll have to stop, stop right on the top of the hill. Right when I stop the car, dead, dead, like right away, right away. And, uh, and I'm like, ah, shoot, all right. 
um, <laughs> you know, it's out of gear and everything, and I, I'm like, well, maybe I can roll it, because I'm on a hill, right? And uh, this car's honking behind me because he's upset. I put my hazards on, but the hazards are, you know, on an old car. Who knows? I don't know if they work. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. All right, well, I'm gonna roll this thing because either it's gonna start on the roll and we're good and I can get home, or uh, I'm gonna pull off and roll into this ditch. But I ended up just trying to start it as we're rolling, 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 and I'm picking up some speed. I'm like, all right, and then I start going up the hill quite a bit, considerable amount. Um, it definitely had more momentum than I thought, but it's not starting. The car's just dead. At this point, I pulled off and into the shoulder and uh, kind of at the bottom of this hill. So the hill would go down like this and kind of like that. And that's the, that's the trajectory I went. Sorry, let me bring it up. It's, it's uh, down like this and then that. Uh, and, and it continues straight, but this is the turn off. So I went, I went right. <laughs> but anyway, I, I ended up like calling my wife. Um, I told her, you know, if you want to come get me, get me. Uh, she was already on her way. So God bless her. I'm glad I have have a woman in my life like that. And we get home, we're safe. We're, we're a little like, I'm upset, but I did have so much fun that honestly, the adventure, the fun, being there with my wife, experiencing that, seeing her joy. It's one of those special moments where I have that moment captured and, uh, and I can relive it. Unfortunately, the update for this is we're not out of phase one yet. But yeah, I, I do want to take her out to swing arm. I do want to take her out to all these places and in an actual wide open spot and just burn donuts, you know, and have fun. Because this car's really fun, man. That, that, was, that was a great time. Um, I, you know, I, I, she may be rough around the edges, but that experience was just, it was violent in the right way. Which is, you know, violent in the right way. I'm just going to leave it at that. It was absolutely just rough, but how you'd like it, you know? <laughs> We're going to cut this, but thank you guys for watching. Um, I really appreciate your viewership. I want to give a shout out again to people who helped make this build possible. Uh, PMB Performance, big shout out to those guys. Pelican Parts, thank you for being there. Uh, you guys are awesome. And uh, like and subscribe. It helps a lot, guys. <laughs> Please. And... Yeah, leave a comment, do all those things. I, I know everybody says that, but I'm a small channel. I gotta ask. Just do me a favor, leave a like. And uh, if you haven't yet, subscribe. Definitely do that. It helps. It helps. I mean, uh, what else do I gotta say?